Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 22 for multi-vendor e-commerce website in Django with React.js. In this video, we will design our uh, checkout page in which we will show all the orders which are in the cart. So we will show that, right? In our previous video, we have uh, implemented the related product section with slider. And this is Bootstrap Carousel, right? And we have also implemented this uh, thumbnail slider. Right. So let's start to design the checkout page. So we will do two things. Uh, the first one is uh, we will give here the link in which when user click on this link, he can see the checkout page right uh, with the number that how many items are in the cart and then we will design our checkout page. OK, so let's start to start with our header section. Right. So this is uh, I have opened the single product. Let's open the header section and here we have a category link I'll copy this and paste it here and I'll say uh, my cart right and in the my cart I will just simply say the numbers let's say four right so this number will be dynamic right so uh, whatever uh, when whenever we click on the add to cart this number will be updated right so now let's uh, see this uh, checkout page checkout or uh, let's say yeah this is checkout okay so checkout now we need to create the uh, view level of this so we will do we will do the simple thing like we have a categories we will create one more component let's open single products right and let's copy this and paste it here and let's say checkout.js right and here we will change the component name so this will be checkout and the component name will be checkout right and let's keep it as it is logo and the link if we need then we will change this later all right so we have this let's add here the heading h1 and uh, we will simply say this is checkout page this is this is checkout page right we have defined this now we need to define in the router right so source and uh, app.js and we will fetch here the component so the component will be checkout and this is here the checkout right and now we have this product detail let's add here one more route and that will be our checkout route all right so check out and the component name here okay now this should work right so let's see click here and this is checkout page right so header section is working and our component is working now let's add element in the checkout section right okay so div class container okay and then we will say margin top 4 and container will close here and then we have what we have in the heading we have any heading let's see in our uh, categories list page and we are seeing all categories right so we will say all all items yeah this is fine all items right so this is category all items now we will create here div class table responsive table responsive okay and then we will add here the table okay and let's add a class table right and then we will t head in the t head we will add here tr right and in the tr we have th and this will be item number okay i will show you that how it will be look okay and this will be a product right and uh, no need for the quantity right and this will be price okay so it will look like this right so Pro, uh, this is uh, item number product and price 
right and then we have t body in the t body we have tr right in the td we will say number one okay and then we have another td and uh, in this td we will add image and product name right so td here okay and let's add the image uh, product name so product name will be okay so this is uh, let's say django all right so this is our django now let's add another one td and this will be price uh, let's say rupees 500 okay so this is django this is product why this is not showing not sure let's check oh the image is showing here okay the image is too big so we'll say thumbnail and we'll give a width oh, width will be let's give a width 50 i guess uh, 80 okay and uh, why this is showing in the center okay this image is starting from here okay so let's give one more thing here uh, image thumbnail all right so this is looking nice okay so product uh, this is our uh, product okay this is our price all right so this is making some more distance so this is our container let's create a row let's create a row and in this row let's create a, a one more class that's call md uh, let's say call m call 8 or call md8 and call 12 okay until the medium screen it will be divided in eight section when it's a small screen it will be the call 12 section right so here we are Sorry, this table will be look like this and this will be here all right so here we have a table and uh, in the left in the right side we can add any sidebar if we need but let's keep it as it is currently okay so this is our product and this is our uh, price one more thing we can add we can add the link here the name okay so link here the image okay so this will be link and now let's add the link in the title also okay so the user can see the link you can user can see the product right so this is our product now let's add another row uh, one more thing we can add table <coughs> border so this will look like as a table right so we have a th we have a tr and uh, these are the numbers okay uh, serial number and let's copy this thing and add four two three four okay and let's uh, change the name let's say it flask let's say python let's say you can say uh, django cms okay or you can say uh, laravel okay this is react js actually react js all right and uh, we can change the number let's change the number quickly three then two everything is fine all right so this is our product one more one thing that i am uh, assuming that uh, it should be like this name should be here after the image not in the p tag but within the image let's change this okay so this will take less space and uh, oh no previous was fine i think all right so this is our all items in the cart so let's add one more thing here four 
okay so this shows four items in the cart so 500 500 500 let's say one more thing here and uh, we will say t footer okay and in the t footer we will add a row and in the row we will say th will be empty first one is empty and then we will create the second one in the second one it's a t foot or t footer t foot i think okay so this one is subtotal or you can say total okay and then the last one is we have the total amount so the total amount will be 2000 okay so this is our this is our checkout page right and after that we can create another row and in this row we have th and this th will be call span 3 and in this we will add a link a link will be continue shopping or proceed to payment right so proceed to payment okay and this will be button so and one more thing we will say align right why this is not going right let's say td all right so it is not going right uh, align right call span 3 let's add a class here then if it's not going text right oh wow so td oh here we are here we are doing wrong thing we are adding row in in the row okay so class name or we can say align align right okay and then we can add a class this will be button button we can say secondary okay and then we have another button and we will say it primary okay and this is proceed to payment let's say success okay and uh, in the secondary we will say or in the success we will say margin start one all right so this is proceed to payment button and this is continue shopping okay so uh, why this is looking uh, align center we have anything okay okay this is fine so we have <coughs> So we have continue shopping and proceed to payment right so when user click on this proceed to payment we will uh, we will introduce our payment gateway section okay and when click on the continue shopping we will go to the home page or we can show the categories page right so let's click here the two path and this will be categories right so when click on this continue shopping it will go to the categories click on the my cart all items okay in the right side we will show something later we will show something some sidebar which will be our latest product or recommended products we can say okay that will be our sidebar right so okay so this is our checkout page that we have created okay so create your uh, uh, do this uh, do practice for this checkout page uh, learn that how this is working how you can create component how you can import the things how this react router uh, don't work okay you can explore number of things right so all I have that I have explained uh, this is checkout page okay so if you are uh, first of all thank you for watching this video and if you are new to this channel then please subscribe and like this video share this video and explore this pl playlist okay because i'm creating this from scratch if you have any idea any query then you can add in the comment section okay and uh, you can also join this channel by simply clicking on this 
this is small membership fees you will pay and you can join this channel so i will give you the access of the code and i'm uploading uh, the code on the i'm uploading everything on the github okay so when we go to the repository you can see here i'm uploading everything okay so currently we are designing the page so everything is in the in this repo okay or you, i have a lot of lots of project in this uh, uh, you know in this uh, on this channel so uh, once you join you can uh, just uh, you can just tell me i will give you access any of one of any one of the project and you can uh, just uh, you know explore that okay and uh, uh, yes uh, thank you so much for watching this video and uh, let's uh, meet in the next video in the next video probably uh, we will do we will start the customer panel okay the designing part and after completing the designing we will uh, you know fill this all things from the database we will explore database we will explore django api and we will see that how we will work currently we are designing the page with the uh, react right so yes thank you so much for watching this video let's meet in the next video thank you